Today I will show you how to create this edgy shadow effect. Yo, hello, it's Spovika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl Alt Y to make a new adjustment layer. And the first effect you'll want to add is Deep Glow. Now you can very much not add Deep Glow, but add like other glow that you have, maybe just a normal glow. But it will be a bit of a harder time to fix with those effects, so I'll just show you with Deep Glow. So I like to make the radius 534 and the exposure to 2.73. Alright, that's very glowy right now, but don't worry, because we will de-glow it a bit later and the next effect i like to add this s flicker this is another very optional effect uh, you can basically instead of this just add exposure and then keyframe the values so what i like to make in s flicker is the amplitude to 0.33 and the next effect i like to add this s invert now what i like to do here is uncheck invert luma and i like to make the offset darks to minus 0.33 and it will give the super cool effect and i like to make the scale lights a bit higher so 1.33 now i personally think that looks super dope maybe it's a bit too glowy i'm not sure and the effect that makes the whole shadow cloud i don't know how to call the effect is fractal noise so i like to make the fractal type to turbulent sharp and i like to make the noise type to spline and blending mode to darken now here i like to also make the contrast to 40 brightness to minus 3 complexity to 20 and now what you want to do here is hold alt and press on this evolution button stopwatch and this right will pop up so what i like to type here is wiggle 300 comma 300 and then press somewhere like here and if you want to save this as a preset then you can just press on one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and here you can call it like edgy shadow one and press save and if you want to add it you'll just be able to press ctrl y and go to effects and presets and add edgy shadow one now i also have a second version for this effect so you can basically just add edgy shadow one what you want to change on this version is the deep glow settings so for this version i like to make the deep glow to 500 and the exposure to 0.39 and then where it's fractal noise i like to delete the fractal noise and i like to add vr fractal noise on top of s invert now here again make the blending mode to darken i like to make the horizontal field of view to 94 vertical field of view to 60 contrast to 131 brightness to minus three complexity to seven fractal type to turbulent sharp and this will give a really cool effect now what's left is just to hold alt and press on the evolution stopwatch again and here we can type wiggle parentheses 400 comma 300 and close the parentheses and press somewhere here and now you'll have this effect and now you have the super cool uh, again edgy shadow effect i don't know what to call it i might like this a bit more than the first one these are kind of different to be fair because one is like hella dense and the other one is not as dense i'd say this one is pretty dense and you can also save this as a preset by doing the same thing and i like to call it edgy shadow 2 and if you want more of these effects then i'll actually have a couple of more on my newest damage tv pack which is a vhs crt and ken carson type of look pack which has over 30 presets and it will have actually more when my new update comes out and in that update i will exactly feature some more of these edgy shadow looks they will be called damaged shadow tv so i love the damaged shadow tv version one the look you get with this effect is actually mind-blowingly cool i always wanted to make crt and vhs effects but i just didn't know how and I remember two years ago I started to learn and I made them and now I am sharing the pack with you and if you want a $5 discount then the code will be Povicus. use it to get $5 off of the damage TV pack and just look at this damage shadow TV effect that I will release somewhere in the next month and the people who have the pack can drop suggestions below for what effects you want to add and this is just one of the presets from the update the people who already have the pack will get this update for free let's get back to the tutorial all right guys I need to recommend one more thing and it's that VR fractal noise actually can give you an error at the start because of the the rendering options so if that gives you an error then you have to go to file project settings and here where it says use you will probably have mercury software only so you'll need to switch to mercury gpu acceleration cuda because if you have mercury software only then look what happens when i press it this effect requires gpu acceleration so that's why if you want to use this effect you need to go here and press mercury gpu acceleration cuda press ok and that will fix your problem hopefully you guys enjoyed this idea uh, let me know what you think of it also drop suggestions down below for presets that you want to see in the 
damage TV pack. To the people who have bought the pack, you can DM me with proof and I will send you this damaged shadow TV deep glow version. But if you have the pack, then you can DM me for this. And that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.